guys, it's Dina, and it's everybody's favorite time of year. It's time for my updated American Girl doll house tour for 2017. As you can see, we've had a lot of changes to the Dina and Bina doll house, so be sure to comment down below which room is your favorite. So let's get started with this doll house tour. All right, let's start things off at the top of the house and work our way down. Here is a look at the doll um, attic bathroom slash playroom that is revamped. This used to be the doll classroom. So let's start right over here in this corner. As you see here, we have the Our Generation laundry room set, which is so awesome. I love the blue color. Over here, we have the doll ironing board. We have some of the doll detergent. Here's a look at the washing machines. They do spin. Over here is the doll um, laundry basket that's super realistic and awesome. I love it. We even have some doll size clothes pins over here. Here is the American Girl doll vanity that is retired. Here's a look at that. And it makes real working sounds. It has some little hair clips for my dolls over here. We also have a toothbrush, a hair straightener, right here some nail polish, and here's a look at the sink. It definitely makes some fun sounds. And then and all these compartments open, which I love. Right here we have some doll medicine in case my dolls get the flu or a sick, some perfume, and some toiletries for when the dolls travel. And right over here is the Our Generation pink bathtub that is so cute. I absolutely love the color of it. And we have a little bath mat, and we have a little tray that has a little loofah and a little uh, rubber ducky. And then we have the faucet so the girls can bathe and shower if they wish. So let's move along right over here. Over here is kind of like the doll playroom. I need to like maybe build a wall or something, but I thought it'd be fun to just keep these over here. And as you can see, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of doll-sized toys. Um, we have some of my favorite things. We have mini dolls, some Frozen stuff, some Disney things. I love Ninja Turtles, as well as some Julie skateboard, a little doll house. So there's lots of fun things for the dolls to come up here and play with. We have a little table. We have some books, a camera, and just more toys. So that is a look over here at the top part of the house. And let's go visit the doll bedroom. So here's a look at the doll bedroom and I have loved how this room has evolved over the years of having my doll house. So let's take a closer look. So here is the Our Generation It Seems Perfect set. It has a little desk, little chair for sewing, we have some little sewing essentials in here, the doll clock, some fabric, and of course the awesome doll size sewing machine so my dolls can sew and work if they wish in the doll room. And here we have a little um, cutout body. And we also have the mini ears that I absolutely love that I got from Etsy. We have a little Paris poster. And over here are new tassels I purchased from Target and just strung on a string. Here is a look at Kit's bed. I'm so excited to have Kit's bed. And it opens up perfectly to fit um, two dolls in the doll room. Here's a look at some of the fun things on the bed. Some Disney Tsum Tsums. Obviously I'm a huge Disney fan and a stitch pillow and um, gorgeous bedding from Adorable American Girl which I have a review on and we have this really adorable fluffy little mat over here. Moving along beside the doll bed we have some doll curtains as well as a little mirror with a Paris postcard attached to it. Here is the doll vanity and this is by our generation. We have some doll sunglasses, the drawer opens, and we have this lamp from American Girl as well as some treasures from my travels, a sugar skull from Oaxaca, Mexico, and the Eiffel Tower, and of course some tissues. So here's a look once again at the doll bedroom. I absolutely love it. Welcome to the doll kitchen. As you see here, first things first, I have this gorgeous set from American Girl. It is this beautiful robin egg blue, and we have some little cupcakes and dishes on the table for the dolls to enjoy. As you see here, and we have a table runner with a lazy Susan to store all the dolls' spices and herbs as well as some napkins. My favorite piece in the kitchen definitely has to be Mary Ellen's new retro fridge. It's made out of metal, opens up, and as you can see, it stores all the dolls' delicious foods and goodies. It's one of my favorite American Girl pieces ever. And there you go, you can hear it, it's 100% real metal. 
So here's a look at the Our Generation um, kitchen here. It is a pink one. I used to have the red one. And it's gorgeous. I think it really complements the kitchen well. Up here I have a mixer from Our Generation as well as some other goodies I'll show you. I just removed the table and chairs for a better look. So over here is kind of like a doll pantry. I have some food, some pasta, as well as some cutting boards and measuring spoons. I have some doll sized mugs that the dolls can sip their coffee or hot chocolate in. As as well as some cooking essentials for the hand mixer as well as the oven mitt. So here's a look at the kitchen as you see here, the Our Generation kitchen, the pink one. We have a little poster, a chore chart, and all the fun goodies the kitchen has to offer up there. Yes, I bet your eyes are seeing that. This really is a real bottle of Nutella. We have a little tree or bush as well as some other things like a pastry bag. We have some cooking pots and pans as well as a drying rack and then of course a little tea towel in case the dolls make a mess in the kitchen. So there you have it. There's a look at the American Girl Kitchen in my dollhouse. I loved how I've mixed and matched everything and it actually all goes together really well. So let's continue on with this tour. Welcome to the doll living room. I really love this room because it's really homey, it's pretty spacious and there's room for my dolls to hang out and chill. So here's a look at this corner. I have this painting picture here here. I have this Journey Girls storage cabinet that I absolutely love. I'm a huge sucker for doll books as you see here and you'll see in the doll classroom. I have a bunch of doll sized books as well as kind of like this owl as a bookend. We have a doll sized aquarium and what I thought was really cute is I put the little kitty down there and made a little bed for her so it's like she has a little house or somewhere to stay. And we have a Venetian mask from Venice as well as a little lantern. Moving right along, we have a chandelier that's kind of in the way, but underneath that chandelier is a TV that I made out of a picture frame, and it has Toy Story on it, but it is reversible, so Frozen is on the other side. We have, from New York, uh, one of my travels, a little doll-sized snow globe, a picture of Paris, and we have this little Yankee candle um, lip gloss that I that is a candle, doll size, as well as some flowers to add a little living sense to the doll um, living room. And also on the back we have some um, little sticker flowers. Down here is a fireplace I made and have a tutorial on many years ago. I have a little Wii for my dolls with controller erasers, which is so fun. I love those. And then down here we have this mat that I got from Michaels. And we have Kanani's ottoman and chair, which is something I absolutely love. I will never, ever sell that. And on the ottoman here we have a doll iPad. And then we have um, a Charlie Brown book. Since Valentine's is coming, I thought this would be perfect to display out for the dolls. And in the corner finally I need something in this corner I'm still working on it but I have the Mary Ellen's movie tray here and my dolls were just having some macaroni and cheese dinner so that is a look at the doll living room I love this room it's really timeless and really classic and simple and that's really why I love it. So now let's move on to our final room, the doll classroom. So here's an overview look at the doll classroom. One of my prized possessions is this doll classroom because I am a teacher. So let's get started, shall we? Start with things off over here. I have this Justice doll locker that I like to use. It's out of the classroom because I guess it's technically in the hall. We have this doll sized garbage can for recycling and we have um, some months of the year uh, poster of course and then we have Mary Ellen's chalkboard that I absolutely love and it has a little eraser as well and that's a pointer stick in the corner in case you're wondering what that was. So here's the doll desk. As you can tell, one of the dolls is super busy working on her science work. It's the American Girl desk, and as you see here, it has the Our Generation science set that I absolutely love with test tubes and the microscope. We have a doll-sized backpack here that one of the girls hung there because I guess she didn't put it in her locker. And underneath, I love how this has storage. We have a doll-sized um, lunchbox, headphones, and the doll pencil case. And over in this corner over here, we kind of have um, a map of Canada, because I am Canadian, printing alphabet, because we have handwriting on that side. And then we have a little drawer that pulls out under here, and inside those drawers are just little toys or things that dolls could use, I guess, for center time. 
And then in here, these little cabinets that I love that I plan to do label, we have some books here, so kind of like guided reading books, and then this is kind of like an arts and crafts um, school supplies corner. And finally, the classroom would not be complete without a teacher's desk, so we have kids' desk, and here is just a look at it. It's another one of my all-time favorite pieces of American Girl doll furniture. Let's take a look at what the teacher is storing up top here. She has a globe to teach her students with, some crayons, she has a flower pot, that maybe one of her students gave her. I use these little um, My Little Ponies to be bookends since I do love books for my dolls as mentioned. And then down here is the doll desk. And as you can see, it's so realistic of like a real teacher desk. So I really love that. We have a lamp. We have a bell from New York that actually rings. We have some multiplication flashcards, a laptop. Of course, us teachers, we need our coffee. We have an apple. And then over here, we have a doll pen and a doll calendar. And then moving right along, we just have the doll chair that swivels with a cute little mat underneath and then some hidden treasures inside. And every teacher needs a teaching bag to store all their work in and marking. So that is a look at the teacher desk. Well, there we have it. There's a look at the doll classroom. I'm really happy with this room because I've tried to make it as realistic to a classroom as possible. Of course, we need maybe another desk, but besides that, I love this final room in the dollhouse. And just like that, that concludes another Dina and B dollhouse tour this one for 2017 be sure to comment as always which room was your favorite down in the comments and why I love hearing from you guys especially on which room was your favorite I really enjoy making the rooms and showing them for you guys and having my cousins help me so a shout out to my cousins for helping me reorganize and decorate the dollhouse so bye guys thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you in our next video and we'll leave you with a picture of beautiful Parker the girl of the year for 2017 2017 today I'll be opening up my new goodies and sharing my haul with you for my trip to the States so let's get opening